Hi everyone, I am Siva Prasad, Associate Professor in CAC Department, Guntur Engineering College. In this class, we are going to discuss about quality attribute scenario in software architecture and design pattern subject. This subject is useful for fourth year first semester CAC students. Quality attribute scenario. The quality attribute requirement should be unambiguous and it should be clear and understandable to each and everyone. And this quality attribute scenario must be testable. It should have some common requirements. The common quality attribute scenarios are six quality attribute scenarios are there. They are stimulus, source of stimulus, response, environment, artifact and response measure these six scenarios we follow to achieve the quality attributes in the software development field first we see what is stimulus stimulus is a condition that needs to be considered when it arrives at a system in our day-to-day -day life also, we are listening the word stimulus. Our body got stimulated. Or some people use steroids to stimul, to boost up their energy system or to boost up their nervous system. So stimulus means an action with the specified condition. For the given action, all the people may not respond in the same manner. For example, when you consider yourself, you are walking on your road, you got, you have seen one purse on the road. So as a genuine person, you may pick up the purse and you may be hand over it to the police station. Or if some other person may pick up the purse and keep it in the pocket. So for the same condition, different people may respond in different manner as per their condition, criteria or the atmosphere, whatever it may be, atmosphere, whatever it may be. So for the same condition, different objects may respond in different manner. You call it as stimulus. So what is the source of stimulus? The source of stimulus may be the human or the computer or a system or some other actuator. So the person or a machine which is initiating the action is called as source of stimulus. Already you got some experience with the ATMs. So who is initiating the transaction at the ATM? Yes, user is initiating, user or customer is initiating the transaction. So customer or user is the source of stimulus. Generally as a customer, as a bank customer, we insert the card into the ATM machine. If the card is correct card, valid card, and you have inserted it proper manner, it will display some menu options. So that is possibility one. Another possibility, even though you are the correct user, correct customer, but you have inserted the ATM card in the reverse manner. Does the ATM machine react in the same manner, the proper manner, or will you give an error message? Yes, definitely it will give error message. So based upon the source, the system gives response. Okay, you see source of stimulus. So we in uh, the user initiate an a, 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 a transaction or a, a, an activity. You can also call it as activity because in your third year, in your third year UML and DP subject, you have studied activity charts. Use case diagrams, activity chart. You please recollect activity diagrams. So source of stimulus, stimulus is initiated. It is entered into the artifact and environment. And it gives some response. That may be the response like what we have discussed in the ATM example. The response may be displaying the menu on the screen. Or sometimes if you have not inserted the card in the proper manner, the response may be an error message. So, card not inserted properly. Like that, the response depends upon the stimulus, environment and artifacts. 
okay the response will be measured how quick the response is giving you please remember this diagram this diagram is applicable for source of scenarios complete quality attribute scenario okay now you see the response in what time the system gives the response to the user in what time the system gives response to the user you call it as a response generally people want to have quick response the performance of a, of a system is measured against its response for example you see performance scenario an event arrives and the system should process that event and generate the response so that is called performance response in the same way modifiability response so modify modifiability scenario a request for a modification arrives and the developer should be implement that modification without side effects that is important if you are if you are doing the modifications it may make changes in some other area so that is the not correct process so whatever the changes you want to make you should be making the changes in that area only it should not affect other area that means side effects that's why majority of the people use object oriented programming to avoid the side effects generally procedure oriented programming languages are having more number of side effects whereas object oriented programming it is modularization so side effects have been reduced tremendously already you know the difference between oops and pol procedure oriented language that's why majority of the people prefers java programming language or c++ because the oops property okay next response measure in what time the system is giving response to the user's request you call it as response time as a user as a bank customer do you want quick response or a slow response yes you want quick response only the response time you are considering or correctness of the response also as yes, correctness of the response also you require so the response is measured in terms of latency or throughput the time gap between the initiating the transaction and giving the response is called as latency always you want to reduce the latency always you want to reduce the latency so you want to everyone wants to have better response quick response so that overall throughput can be increased throughput in the sense number of transactions completed over given period of time if the machine is giving quick response automatically throughput will also be increased so always you want to reduce the latency and increase the throughput these two words you may get it in the objective model questions bits you may get these questions you want to reduce the latency and increase the throughput so we call it as response measure next one is environment yes the word environment means the surroundings the performance of the system or the response of the system is not only depending upon the system itself it also depend upon its neighbors neighbors in the sense surroundings you call it as environment for example your system is working properly and at the time of 10th class result or intermediate results you might remember that when you try to connect to the site so always it is giving or oh, server is busy try after some time server is down try after some time like that it is giving that means even though your system is performing well but the response is not only depending upon your system it is depending upon other usage also others users also you call it as environment so you need to consider the environment as also qualifier for st stimulus at the same time when you are making a calls at the time of december 31st night so even though you send the message it will not reach immediately it will reach next day or some some hours after that it may reach that means the response or performance is depending upon the surroundings you call it as environment effect at the time of designing the system they consider environments also last artifact artifact means 
the impact the effect on full system or partial system that may be the impact may be on the part of a system or it may be on the complete system so both are correct next for example you consider a failure in a data store and may be treated different than a failure in the meta data store which one is major dangerous yes the failure in meta data is more dangerous than failure in the data store because if you lose data you may be recollecting little bit with little bit efforts whereas data meta data means the data which describes about another data you call it as meta data the data which describes about another data is called as meta data so meta data loss of meta data is more dangerous than loss of normal data in the same way modifications user interface may have faster response times than modifications to the middleware user response you know in the html or in the front end applications you are doing the modifications for a user interface part can be modified very easily when comparing with the middleware modifications okay that's all thank you